My motto is I will try until I fail. That's when I know where is my limit. So if you do not try until you fail, you have not fully explored your potentials. So that is something that at this age, I am still trying. So a lot of things I am still trying and I want to know where is my limit. I'm from Perat, yeah. born in Telo Intan and uh, I graduated from University of Cambridge uh, way back in 1999 and prior to that I worked one year at Sirim, uh, Sirim Berhad uh, in Shah Alam and I did my first degree at University Kebangsa Malaysia majoring in chemistry. So I'm a scientific person, I'm a chemist and so a lot of times when I do things we approach from a logical point of view and uh, I would say I am a very much disciplined person and yeah so well it's a very uh, traits of a scientific person It's a big challenge, it's totally different from my previous position uh, at the uh, previous university. I was an associate professor uh, teaching chemistry, teaching ISO uh, subjects and at the same time I'm also doing some uh, workshop as a trainer for the industry in chemistry and uh, I was doing research as well. Uh, I have postgraduate students in local universities, so I, I was very much involved in teaching and research and uh, partially on administration. So I was just wondering, because you actually worked in Utah for quite a long time yes. and step out of the comfort zone yes. and become the president here. So uh, what kinds of transition that you have experienced so far? I was on the lookout for opportunity to advance myself and to challenge myself and the timing I, I would say it was quite right and perhaps sometimes you can say it's a midlife crisis <laughs> all right you are at the junction you are looking back on the past nearly 49 years of myself and thinking what next what next in the five or ten years am I going to be just like this being in my comfort zone, not progressing, not challenging myself. So that's when I decided that, yeah, I'm kind of like bored at that stage and I wish to actually take on new challenge and see where I can actually enhance and fulfill my potential. How, I'm just quite curious, how do you, you, you are academics, you are yes. a scientist and you are now the president, how are you? Cope with for all of these balance, things together. Yeah. yeah, so it's actually work life balance is so yes. hard. I always trying to do that, but mm. I find it quite struggling mm. in between. So, how do you achieve yeah. that? When I was young, I concentrated on my family. I have one son. So, uh, different people at different stages of their life, your priority will change. But you must make sure your priority are right. So, when your priority are right, it's easy for you to make any decision. So there was then, I, family was my priority. It was easy for me to leave Utah and stay in Kuala Lumpur because I can't go to Kampa for the sake of my husband and my son who is doing schooling in Kuala Lumpur. So as I go through my life today, my boy is 17 years old. The priority, yeah. The priority changes as we go and when he is above like teens, 10 to 15, I concentrated in my research, in my academic life and I would say when you set your priority right in your life, a lot of decisions are very easy.